Oh, all right, you guys. Here is a female bodybuilder from Brazil, and she is good at wrestling because she has wrestled with her insecurities all her life. Seeing a girl with fake muscles and oil in her arms feels like peeing on an electric fence. It's shocking. Her fake arms look no bueno from all the aceite. It's not aesthetics, it's called aceitetics. <laughs> Dios me oil, her arms are faker than Neymar diving in a football match. The guys made a joke about her and she reacted a little bit too violent. She should carry a sign all the time saying no sharp objects. Going to the gym and pretending to work out doesn't make you a bodybuilder. Just like standing in a garage and pretending to be a car doesn't make you a vehicle. Now check out this Russian kid. When the girl touches his arms, she must be thinking, are you a French video game publisher? Because you be soft. He's the type of guy who gets friend zoned by a hooker. His oily arms are as fake as her oily lips. And both look like they were born on the highway, because that's where accidents happen. His IQ level is ironic and his stupidity level is chronic. Like steel, like <laughs> The guy is Russian, and when you look at him, you feel Russian too. Like Russian to the toilet to throw up. When it comes to building real muscle, people like to talk about the mind-muscle connection. But nobody ever talks about the phone-muscle connection. He is swiping girls on Tinder while doing curls as a beginner. And the only thing he grows here is his hair. But at least he is natural. Studies have shown that the bench press is an extremely effective strength training exercise. And this guy's favorite equipment is the bench press. It looks like he's training his elbows, but he is not. He is doing a regular bench press with full range of motion. The only reason why you can't see it is because he is lagging. He is working out with a high ping. The girl here is doing a great job lifting a piece on her own. When this guy tried to show off his strength, and he was screaming as loud as a toddler at a daycare. And it was as annoying as a mosquito circling over your head. This man is training to move back with his parents and he's already learning to carry his parents' drama on his back. Patrick called, he's asking for help to push away Bikini Bottom to avoid the warm. But anyway you guys, always remember at the end of the day it's night and every little thing is gonna be alright. If it's not alright, it's not the end. Nobody wants to get close to the end, wait. I'm going to go!